Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a surprise today. Uh, we got the gooseneck on. We're going on to Vegas from Cedar City, Utah to go pick up a customer's truck. This is a 16 GN to 25 plus five. Um, I use it to carry my race truck. And this will be the, the maiden tow, heavy tow at least with this 07. Um, so we got it all hooked up. The only thing I don't have is a plug inside the bed. So we just had to run it to the bumper. But we're all fueled up, gassed up. Like I said, we had to stop, get some full throttle. If you don't drink full throttle, you're kind of missing out in life. So let's go ahead and get you guys some footage of this thing being unloaded on its way down to Vegas. And then get you guys some footage of it coming up. We have Black Ridge, which is, I think, 5 or 6% grade for about 4 miles. So we should have some pretty good tests on it to see how well it does. So one of the things this truck's got is airbags. Um, I didn't install them, but the customer did. Previous owner, I guess. So we got about 80 pounds, which seemed to work really good in the fourth gen with the gooseneck. So we'll give it a shot. This is the portable snap-on air compressor. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Very nice piece here. So we'll go ahead and finish getting our 16 GN hooked up. This is the oil bath single tire dual axle with the mega ramps. Let's hit the road. Wow, that sounds bright today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get on the on-ramp with the full manual valve body. Southbound, boys and ladies, if you got any. So we're in second gear. We're just gonna go ahead and get it 25, let out for a sec, lock it up. Let it grab lock up. I'll run this out. Grab third lock. And we're in lock up. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Um, because this truck makes so much power and because we still have that um, small input shaft, I know like if we did some lock shifts like full power with this thing, this shaft wouldn't take it. Like it's no secret. Nobody's afraid to admit it. Like it it probably won't take very many. And since I have to go get a customer with a broken tranny, I really don't want to also need somebody to come get me because I have a broken tranny. So we're gonna play it safe, but I mean really not bad. Uh Utah we get to go pretty fast, but I, I don't like pushing the truck that hard. Um, even when I did my road trip, like Utah is 80. I don't know, this speedometer is off by a little bit. We're going like 77. The highway patrol is just not worth it. We got um, 10 pounds of boost, about three pounds interstage. EGTs are sitting right at, what do you think, 700? And we got a little bit of a headwind on our way to Vegas. And then we'll have a tailwind on our way back up the mountain. So anyway, we're just gonna keep chugging along. So far, everything's doing extremely well. Guys, this is one of my favorite parts of Utah right here. When you're coming down into like Tokerville or Hurricane, you have these big mountain ranges. Keep in mind, we're quite a ways up right now. Those mountains, I think are like 65 or 7,000 feet. And then those ones, I believe, are closer to eight. And then you have the mountains over there. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Now, that also means that this is just a huge funnel of wind and weather. All right, guys. A lot of you don't understand how close Cedar is to down south. In an hour, you're in Arizona. We're going to be in Arizona for about 30 minutes going through this place called the Gorge. And then we will be in Nevada. So we are literally like two and a half hours from Vegas. It's really easy to get there. So just the open road. I'll tell you what, uh, now I know why truckers drive like during the day. There's really not much traffic on these interstates. And this is the start of the gorge. It's called the Virgin River Gorge. It's on Interstate 15, just south of Utah, north side of Arizona. I mean, it is just gorgeous to drive through. Um, if you are driving through it, uh, there are quite a few people that try to go as fast as they can through it. Obviously, with a truck and trailer, I'm not trying to set the land speed record, but 
I think it's 26 miles long. My best time that I recall is like 15 or 16 minutes. I did it in my CTSV back when I owned that a couple years ago. And it's a lot of fun. Everything's kind of banked really nice. Um, I would suggest doing it at night when there's no traffic, but hey, to each their own. But it is a gorgeous drive. Wonderful sunny Las Vegas. It's like 60 degrees here. Trailer made it one piece. Truck did really well. Highest EGTs I saw, I think, was like 900. But we're gonna go ahead and get this customer's truck loaded up. Um, I know a lot of you guys give me crap for loading it backwards, but the reason why is I really don't like hanging the back end off the back of the trailer. So I try to put the front tire of the truck right on this back axle that way most of the weight is on the trailer and not on the tongue i don't like to abuse that rear axle uh, i don't actually know what this third gen's rated for but <clears throat> i'm sure it'll be fine i figure it's probably eight thousand pound truck six thousand pound trailer that's fourteen thousand plus an eight thousand pound truck that's twenty two thousand well below what we need to be at so let's get her loaded up one thing I always do is I set the parking brake. That way we don't have to fight the truck rocking too much. And I gotta say, everybody has their trailer brand of choice. Um, Big Techs honestly just gave me the best deal for what I needed. But these mega ramps with the spring assist, money. This trailer has been a great investment. Um, I will put them in four wheel drive low. That way they just crawl up um, the trailer and you don't have to give it a lot of throttle. Okay, so we got her all loaded up with a long bed and it you want even bulge on both tires these are i think 18 ply with the oil baths so we'll go ahead get this thing strapped down 
Just like that, guys. Carhartt knows how to use a ratchet strap. Just so happened to end up like that. Extra straps for days in this thing. So got her all strapped down. Make sure we're good here. I think we're ready to hit the road. Already checked the tire pressure this morning on this thing. Oh, make sure you fold in the mirrors if you're gonna tell them backwards. And yeah, make sure the trailer is looking okay. Got some extra oil because you never know. I think we're ready to hit the road, boys. All right, let's hit the road. Oh, she heavy back there for sure. Call back. But 
here's the other side the front part of this coming from the south going northbound i think is even prettier i mean it just i don't know how to describe it but it's so nice looking so we're gonna go ahead i'll show you guys on the six percent grade what she does here's that big grade here um we're going 60 on the dot i mean the truck is just really happy doing what it's doing sorry about the sunlight not much i can do about it but we have let's let it all stabilize here climbing up this grade 20 pounds boost 900 degrees of egt this thing is just happy as a clam everything's working well truck's staying nice and cool i was kind of worried about the on three intercooler blocking radiator but does not seem to be an issue at all highest i've seen is 211 up that mopa grade i'm sure it'll get higher than that but this thing is just happy the next grade we will see is going to be black ridge that's in utah six percent so we are crossing into beautiful southern utah and we got some flat ground and then we have black ridge and that's going to be the real test i've driven that so many times with so many different trucks i'm really curious to see how these big I guess not huge, but rather large S400 compounds do in a 5.9. All right, so here's the first grade in Utah, overdrive. Um, speed limit 75, we're on like 74. We got 25 pounds of boost, 1,000 degrees of EGT. Still climbing, it's steady. I mean, it, it tapered off. So next one will be Black Ridge. All right, guys, here she is. So Steve, even Utah put a, a climbing lane in. So we'll see. We're going 80 because of the tire size difference. 77 on here is 80. So we're going 80. Mulner up this grade. Wow. This thing just does not care. 40 pounds of boost. 1,000 degrees EGT. Haven't lost anything. That turbo is this truck is just thrilled to be going up this grade. I mean, look at that. Thousand degrees. I've told this exact same hill with a bone stock 6.7 and it wasn't that good. I mean, just like it's not even there. And look, clean as a whistle. No smoke, 100% overs. I mean, that is impressive. I don't care who you are. Ridge. Sorry, I had to pass the cars, but she's just singing along. Speed limit, 30 pounds boost, 1,000 degree EGT. Like, I've never been a huge fan of compounds, but I can now understand why so many people swear by them for heavy towing. Because this has been a eye-opening experience for me as far as drivability. Remember, this is a 1,300 horsepower truck towing about we'll call it 22 23,000 pounds gross which is what most people I would say relatively tow um, we got a really big wind profile with that truck back there um, and it's I mean not even sweat trans isn't hot engine only hit 211 it's at 209 now everything's in check I am blown away setting us up for the last haul here get on this little downhill that way the truck stays cool. I mean, I'm not gonna be surprised. This thing just seems to get it. We have a little bit of a surge that I'm gonna get James to fix, but, oh, there we go. 40 pounds of boost, 1050 on the EGT. This thing just doesn't care. Listen to that turbo. Ripper and a half. Hell yeah, this thing did great. We 
made it to the filling station. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up. It was on EE. Here, I'll show you guys real quick. We only started pumping just now. Like, fuel light was on E. Okay, and we got, let's see here. Yikes. 345 miles. So, let's go ahead, fill it up to the top and see what kind of mileage we got combined. This was there and back. Fuel price, 279. Utah's only gone up 10 cents since the presidential election, so we've been lucky. And we were not as empty as I thought we were. I believe this is a 38 gallon tank, maybe it's 36. But we gave her the triple click right there. Yikes. 31.357, 87 bucks. I mean, really not bad. I feel like my bosses are the ones that looked out on this one. So let's go ahead and do some math. Um, shoot. Uh, Y'all are my calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen record uh, what we got for fuel mileage here. All right, guys, so you saw there, hand calculated, 11 miles to the gallon. Um, technically, we have to multiply by like 5% for the tire change, but we'll just, we'll call it good enough. So 11 miles a gallon, 350-ish miles round trip. Um, the trailer itself weighs 6,200, 6,300 pounds, according to Big Techs and some scales that we've hit. Uh, so you figure that would be your average, maybe, I don't know, equipment, trailer with some lawn equipment maybe a boat um maybe some atvs utvs and then on the way home i'm gonna bet everywhere between 22 23 24 thousand pounds gross that is basically what most people are allowed to tow legally and probably what this truck's rated for um so all in all 11 miles a gallon we had a 4,000 elevation change um and we went up some steep grades truck performed excellent I don't know if this would be a towing turbo setup, but it certainly can get down on the dyno, get down on a road trip, get down towing, and fly down some of these back roads. I'm thrilled. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this towing video and kind of gave you some insight on what to run, what not to run. Uh, again, for those of you that are new, 07 truck, James Vanis tuned it with EFI Live, DDP 100% overs, AirDog 200, a DDP 12 mil, an ATS twin pump kit, a set of Waggler Street Fighters, power driven diesel, thousand horse trans, power driven diesel supplied 467.783.90 with a power driven diesel aggressor 8896T6132 in compounds. Heck of a lot of fun, stock head. Uh, hopefully you guys like this. Go ahead, drop a comment below what you think. Make sure you subscribe. We got a lot more coming. Catch you on the next one.